Danielle is with us in Jackson, Mississippi. Hi, Danielle. How are you? Not as well as I'd like, Dave. How are you today? Better than I deserve. How can I help? I am in step two. I just finished after 15 months paying off $19,589.68 on my student loans. I'm free of Sally May. Way to go! I have $8,800 left to go on my car. I reversed the order because Sally May made me matter. Um, but I kept with it, and it's paid off. I'm married. My husband is not once sober. That's very important. Your, Our marriage is shaky. Your husband is what? Nine months sober. Oh, okay. Good. So that has been through this as well. So the marriage is still shaky. Mm -hmm. My mom told me in February she's dying of lung cancer. Mm -hmm. I'm an only child, Dave. My mom, my mom has. And I don't know how to keep going forward. Do I stop the snowball and start putting money up because of my job? They've told me we have less than 50 employees. And after six and a half years, they're not going to honor FMLA when I have to take care of my mom at the end. And she is dying. And I don't know what to do when I'm scared. Hmm. Where does she live? She lives 30 minutes away from me in Madison, Mississippi. Mm hmm Okay. So I'm spending a lot of time driving between my job, an hour south of her, mm -hmm. at my house, which is the halfway point, and at her house, I'm averaging three hours of night of sleep a night, mm -hmm. and I am exhausted, and I don't know what to do anymore. And I thought I would be excited about paying off the student loans, and now I'm wishing I had saved the money and kept paying the money, and it just... Okay. Um, Do I keep paying you, on the you car got, or, or, just, or, or, or what? Just, just a second. Okay. You got enough stuff on your plate that some stuff's falling off your plate, kiddo. Okay. Um, and there is a saying that says fatigue makes cowards of us all. You are so tired and uh, you're so emotionally drained from dealing with an alcoholic and with your mother's diagnosis and you're not sleeping because you're you so you got to take some stuff off your plate you just got to decide what it is okay because you're not you're not going to be able to function you're going to have to prioritize what is most important uh to you and you're going to do some of that and some of this other stuff you're not going to do no getting out of debt right now is not a big deal you can put that on hold um have they given your mom a timeline a prognosis not really um, watching her, Dave. She's losing more every day. Okay. It's really hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, lung cancer's tough. That's a tough one. So, um, how old is she? She's 75, and she's the most beautiful woman you would ever meet. I bet. I bet. Okay. So, let, let's visit. Here, here's a good way to make decisions on prioritization, okay? Let's visit 10 years from now, and you look back on this time. Would you be glad that you paid off your debt but didn't spend time with your mom? No, you wouldn't. So they make that decision pretty easy, right? When you look back on this time 10 years from now, would you be glad you spent time with your mom and it cost you your job? Maybe. Maybe. What do you do? What do you do for a living? Uh, I am a wastewater treatment operator, lab tech. Um, I make sure the water's safe and we don't kill fish. Okay. All right. And um, how long have you been doing that? Ten years. Okay. What do you make? <laughs> About 35000 a year. Okay. All right. So $35,000 of your jobs are easier to replace than $235,000 of your job. So um, uh, let, let's pretend that you financially had a setback that you uh, not went into debt, but that you made no progress and your income went down because you had to make some choices to walk away from this job because they won't let you have time off to sit with your mom. Okay? Okay. Now, I kind of got this narrowed down to there's really one thing to deal with, and that's mom, because your husband's got to deal with himself. You can't do that for him. He's clean. He's got nine I know, months. but you can't do it for him, and so you can't carry that weight. He's got to do it for himself, and he is, and that's a good thing. He's got nine months. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm proud of him, uh, but you can't carry that one. 
The only thing you can carry is the I, three things draining you, getting out of debt, working at a place that won't let you have time off to spend time with your mom, or spending time with your mom. Okay? So the way the drama goes down is, is you change your schedule, and then your drama will go down. You're still going to have the drama and the pain of what your mom's facing and walking over the next few months of that with her. But um, by this time next year, you know, you're going to be making different decisions likely. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. Because she probably doesn't have a year, does she? No. Okay. So how old are you? 44. Okay. So when you're 54, if you if 2019 is the year from hell and it's in your rearview mirror and your income went down and you spent time with your mom, was that the right choice? Yes. yes. Okay. So I would just calmly and not belligerently and not with a bunch of tears or drama stroll into your supervisor's office and say, we're going to have to talk because my mom and spending what little time she's got left on this earth is more important to me than this $35,000 a year job. So if you guys can work with me, I sure would appreciate it. If you can't, you're going to have to fire me because my mother has cancer and I'm going to spend time with her. So I'm going to take all my vacation time, and then I'm going to take some more time, unpaid, and then you're going to have to fire me because I'm not because I'm going to do this. And you just be kind about it. You don't have to be mad or belligerent or entitled, not like they owe you something. But if you just kind of are a little bit aloof because you've made the decision, I suspect that might be the strongest negotiating position you could possibly have. Walk away power. Okay? But then what, but then if you have to, just walk away. You can deliver pizzas and, you know, you can wait tables and you can do something and keep enough money coming in to eat, right? I would like to believe so. Yeah, I think you can. You're capable. And you're not going to not work at all. You just got to have some time where you spend some time with your mother. And I would if I were in your shoes and, and that these were the choices in front of you. So, um... You know, if you worked here, we would give you the time off because it's just more important than a job. It's just a job. It's not your salvation. It's a job. Whoopee. You know? Am I wrong? No. Okay. You're going to be all right, kiddo. But you cannot continue to try to do everything at once. You're unraveling, aren't you? Badly. You need some rest. Don't you? I don't know how to do that anymore. It's like I forgot how to sleep. I just told you. Quit trying to do so that gum much. And make some solid decisions. The, let me tell you, the most stressful anxiety thing causing thing is ambiguity. Not having made decisions. Even if they're painful decisions, making the decision will set you free. You just decide, this is what I'm doing, and even if it costs me that, this is what I'm doing. Period. This is how it works. Are you in a good church? I've been going to my mom's church with her, um, but they don't really seem I'm not thrilled. Okay. Well, listen, get in touch with a pastor in your area. You need a good pastor in your life right now. Somebody to walk with you and your mom through this. And uh, you might try her, pastor. Maybe you just haven't connected yet. Um, it could be that you're not seeing things clearly right now because you weren't when I started talking to you a few minutes ago. So give that pastor another shot. Sit down with him and uh, tell him you guys need some help walking through this, that you're scared and you need somebody else in your life. And uh, you can make it through this. You can make it through this. You're going to make it through this. You don't really have a choice. Uh, but if you'll make solid choices, your stress will go down and you'll have time to rest and your fatigue will drop. And then you'll make even more solid choices. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. You're going to be okay. You call me if I can help you more.